What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me, your host, Bellar Wright. And welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. We're playing it on the PS4. So I brought you guys back here to show you that... Um, well, what I was doing was I was um, selling off my equipment and I came back here to pick up the equipment like I told you guys I would do off camera. And this is the, uh, the Quail's Bane Cave, I believe it's called. And it looks like we cannot progress any further into the cave because it's uh, all blocked off. So unfortunately, all the stuff I left behind is going to have to stay left behind because I can't do anything about it. And I can't go any further here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, teleport you guys out of the cavern. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and take the long trek back. But just to show you guys, this is this part of the cave. A little bit over the halfway point, and there is some items there. And that's going into the ruins, but for this part, there's nothing I can do <laughs> to get back over there. So, if you guys want the items that are in there, you guys are going to have to get them the first time through. So, hopefully, you practice really good item management, unlike myself, because I thought I could, uh, you always think you can come back to places, and I don't remember that stuff collapsing behind me either. I don't see a reason why that would collapse either. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> when you get right down to it, it's kind of a dumb thing to even have happen. But, uh, I don't know. I could, I guess, reload the game to go backwards, but it's, it's a little bit too much effort. In my opinion and look at that looks like I've managed to talk all the way through the uh, the entirety of the dungeon <laughs> so you guys uh, you guys will skip a load screen but unfortunately you, you will be stuck with me okay and I was merciful enough to stop talking for at least the last stretch of that journey It's just, it's a weird thing to do with that cave, because there was nothing really, nothing else really in that cave. No reason to really, uh, kill off progression like that. Kill off, uh, re-exploration like that. So just, it's just an odd choice. There's so many enemies over here, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I think I'm poisoned too. Calm down, all of you. Wow. Calm your ass down. I don't know if I just hit like a... Oh, her pelvis is going crazy too. I don't know if I just hit a part of the game where the game just cranks shit up. But it's getting kind of... Oh, I got some tip. Yes! I got some tender twig. Yeah, the game's getting kind of crazy with the enemies. So maybe I should get used to that. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and check out this pile of rocks. See what this is about. I guess we're just hanging out. Um, because it's very difficult to um to be consistent with these quests. Star camp. So pile of rocks is this. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I did manage to sell a bunch of stuff off camera, so I did actually do that. Gnomish energy band. Whoa, look at that. That's really good. We can swap this out for the, um, we can swap that prodigy ring out for this. Crafted by Gnomish artificers to aid mages in combat, this band of gold and copper provides exceptional regeneration of magical energy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
That's like the best item we've gotten in a long while. And I believe I did change a little bit of my gear up off camera. So I'll just show you guys what I've done. I think, uh, what did I do? I sold some of this stuff. Like one or two things from over here. I'm going to junk this now. 10% health. This might, this could actually end up staying relevant. So I'm going to keep this around. I sold a bunch of weapons, but my weapons haven't really changed. I'm really rocking with the same stuff. I could go with this instead of the staff I have. And this would pretty much help out. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, no, I messed that up, actually. I want to swap this out for this. Yeah, this was a really good staff right here. I bought some more consumables, so I actually need more of these. I didn't I didn't realize I needed even more of these. I think these were I just bought these. I think I might have completely run out of these previously. We're just kind of chilling because it's very tough to stay consistent with these quests. I'm going to go pick this up over here. Marga Samok. I think we can get there from over here. That's super effing cool. I feel a tad bit weaker though. Might have to upgrade my weapons pretty soon. Oh, there's a wooden thing over here somewhere. Now the difficult part, whoa, what are those? All right, before I fight them, let me just mess around over here. So I was gonna say the difficult part Cause I'm trying to like comb everything via exploration, but there's a lot going on here. Jotun Rune Lord. Oh no. This ain't good. Oh, did that not do any damage? Hold on. I for sure need that. He's like a sumo. See if this does anything. These guys are strong. Oh man. Oh man, I'm in the water. Uh oh. I think I can get both on with this. Get one of them. Let's go. Oh, I'm so vulnerable. <laughs> I 
So vulnerable. Yep, these guys are pretty tough. So I'm going to need some better gear, more damage. Tell me, stranger, have you seen a young man lost in these ruins? Maybe with two lovebirds who can't take their eyes off each other. I will not settle for the fate of common living. There is treasure in these ruins. I will find it and retire to the life of comfort I deserve. We probably find peaceful ruins flowing with forgotten gold. No, it's just sprites and brambles and blathering fay. When we lost Tone, Marga and Arain wanted to go off on their own. Fine by me, I knew what they were after. They weren't any help anyway. So we lost them. Did you meet that impossible Fae, droning on about flowers and seasons? I don't think he heard a word I said to him. I don't know any of these people. Yes, Turin. We were separated while exploring the ruins. I need to find him. Who are these people exactly? They're my friends. We came into these ruins together, but I wonder if any of us will get out again. Mm. I'm sure he's fine, but if you do find Turin, please send him this way. I need that damn scroll of his. It's nothing. A contract of sorts. This venture was supposed to fill our pockets with coin. Now I'd count us wealthy if we all make it out alive. She's a little iffy. She's kind of coming off as untrustworthy. One moment he was beside us, and the next he was gone. It's just like him, the big oaf. I should have known not to bring him along. I actually don't trust her. My friends and I were separated while exploring the ruins. I especially need to find a young Almain named Turin. He has a scroll that I need. Right, and right. You do find him. I mean, since this is nearby, I'm gonna do. Hopefully, this is nearby. Please be nearby. Okay. Is this nearby? It's kind of nearby. And there's still this over here. Okay. I thought this, I thought that's what I was doing. I thought I was doing the Marga thing. But Marga's a part of her quest, I believe. So let's see what she has to say. Oh, these are kabolds. Oh my goodness. Let's back up. Right, right, right. These guys only show up some packs of four. Get one of them. All right, we've definitely gotten stronger because these kabols are actually not as hard as they used to be. Thank goodness. She's a part of that other quest, right? Rain. Oh, my poor dear, everything's ruined. Turin's lost, and Jed has gone off, and Orain, Orain's been turned into an antelope. Really? 
See if we can get her to talk about Turin and Jetta. She never found Turin? She won't be happy. See, he had the scroll and really it's not my place to say. This was all Jetta's idea, all her fault. Hmm. He's my well, you know. My mother said Varani's men's hearts forever wander, but not my Orain. Oh no. <laughs> to be honest. I don't really want to find treasure or be rich. I just want to settle down on a farm somewhere with a rain and raise lots of children. Why did he have to follow his friends to this cursed forest? I wish we'd never listened to Jeddah. No treasure's worth this. A rain went into those bushes. I heard a yell and saw a flash of light. Then an antelope came out wearing a rain's silver necklace. My grandmother told me about places like this. How sprites would ensnare young men and turn them into forest creatures. Or vice versa. I swear that's what's happened to Orain. But he ran off before I could catch him. Please help me look for him. Are you sure he's an antelope? That is a good question. Absolutely. My grandmother told me all about it. One story tells of a man who entered a forest seeking a special flower for his beloved, but a sprite cursed him to wander the forest as an antelope until his true love gave him a kiss. Interesting. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done. The antelope, uh, or rain, I mean, he ran off north into the ruins. You have to find him. Sure. My grandmother told me all about them. There was once a man who entered the forest in search of a Didn't you just tell me this? For his beloved, but a sprite cursed him and he was forced to wander the forest as an antelope until his true love gave him a kiss. Uh He ran north before I could catch him. I called and called but he didn't come back. Okay. All right. So we got two quests that quick. So this is where he is. No, this is Turin. So this other thing is like a, what, a task? This one. This one's actually closer. Oh, are these Jotun thingies again? I think they are. These might actually be slightly different. These are slightly different. Oh, let me save the game before I mess with these guys. <laughs> Boy. What is that? Or is this just like a standard Jotun? Stealth them. What the hell? Where'd the second one all of Man. This game is doing stuff that it shouldn't be doing. Yeah, I got both of you guys. Got both of you idiots. Yes. Uh oh. What are these called? Yotun Warriors. I'm gonna use the ice. Or no, never mind. I don't have ice chakrams. not to uh, let them get too far because they will leash and be healed. Hold on. Get back up here. Come on. Really? Man, I'm getting hit with everything. Okay. 
see. Now, somebody did tell me um that you can actually um pull the camera back a bit. So I'm gonna check that out. Pull the camera back just a bit. You know what? That's already a little bit better. Oh, and here comes another one. Here comes all three. Man. Can I catch a break? I don't even care. I don't even care. Come on, get out of my face. Yeah, this uh, shadow thing is really good. The shadow dagger thing. This is the only thing keeping me alive, really. On the third year of passage, Tyrion entered Dalantar. In dark wood and feigning field she strode, until from wandering she was taken to the roots of mighty Velagru's child. So laden with Lyria's song, a greater magic known to none, she communed with nature's spirit, but the lyric she sought was not found. I'm gonna for sure... So to the sure. plains of Erafel traveled the Lyria-guided Tyrion. Wind chased her swarthy cloak and tresses, masked her against the moonlit plains. That ebon evening tide, that colored shade that so long ago marked us, Tyrion marched against the celestial expanse. Beneath the diamonded sky, she found her rest. I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention to most of that. Um, yeah, I was too busy thinking about leveling up. So I have these weapons here. But I'm going to upgrade these to these. Yeah, just the better. The better bet. Might as well just equip the better ones. The ones that are less damage. Lyria shoes, ice resistance, as well as you get plus 25% in both health and mana. Really good. I think it's about time I did sell these. I do like the skills you get for them, but it's uh, not a lot of defense. So I'm going to go ahead and sell those. The perfidious stuff, I think I'm going to go ahead and start selling this stuff too, unfortunately. It's about time. What we got? Um, That can definitely go. And this can also go. This thing is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna have to start. All this stuff's really good. It's hard for me to really choose to get rid of anything. This, I might get rid of this. But I'm gonna keep it just a little bit longer. All right, I 
I'm picking up a lot of stuff, man. Okay, let's go ahead and level up. So I really want to get alchemy. I'm just going to go for it. And as far as this goes, we've maxed this out already. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to go for the passive of reduce cost. Reduce casting cost. Twenty five percent chance to stun explosion on impact. I'm going to have to get that. I'm going to have to get that. I might do this twice. I might just do three points. Because as far as finesse goes, I can't really think of anything to do with finesse. Anything that I'm really focusing on. I guess I could make this a bit stronger. So if I do that. Uh. This is max. I suppose that's the best I can do for now. Ah. Initiate. No, that's not what I want, though. That's way better. Then again. Then again. I'm mainly doing elemental stuff anyway. I think I'm going to go with that actually. Until I can get this. I'm only one level away from this. And I'll be able to teleport as well. Okay, we're good. Feeling good about this. I think with that level up, stuff makes a little bit more sense. All right, heck yeah, let's do it. Get out of here. <laughs> For some reason, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like, that wasn't even on my radar. Oh, no, he is still alive. Or is he? I, I don't know. Oh, no, he is. Okay, okay. All right. So, okay. I was thinking that he probably wouldn't be the antelope. I was thinking that randomly um the antelope will have his bangle and that is true I, but i thought the game just did a super swerve and just killed him off <laughs> like but now he's in the cage man please you have to open the cage i don't know how dude the joke you filled up on that antelope but I don't like the way the big one was looking at me well he's dead now the large one kept biting into the antelope and then grinning at me. <laughs> I never want to see another Jotun for as long as I live. Understandable. These guys are tough, man. Jetta went on about all the treasure we would find here. All I've seen are Jotun in trouble. The 
beautiful girl and great fun to be around. At first. But then she starts talking marriage and children. Uh, I'm not ready for that. Ah oh, man, that sucks. I've been roaming the world since I was a child. Settling down just isn't my fate. Well, they certainly never talked about that. They have two totally different dreams. Of course not. You believe that too? I just needed an excuse to get away. <laughs> Margot has gotten a little too attached for my taste. Just my rotten luck that I stumbled into a bunch of jokemen. C can you get me out of here? She's a sweet girl, but wants a little more dedication than I'm ready for. I needed to get away. She'd go on about these stories her grandmother used to tell her. About creatures turning people into ah. animals. She believed them, so there was my way out. Well, fair enough. I didn't reckon on getting captured by Jotun, though. Fair enough. Thanks. I owe you one. Do me a favor. Don't tell Margo you saw me. Thanks again. It'd probably be for the best if I didn't tell her I saw him. So I guess I could have left them in there and just let the Yoden have them. Which would have been pretty messed up. What is down here? What the hell? What are those? Crew dock. Oh no. Nah. Oh, I saw me. It F and saw me. Poison homing projectiles. Of course. Of course. Oh, and they don't leave you alone. Great. Come on over. You fall into my trap, asshole. Fall into my trap. Of course, these do a lot of damage too. Let me, uh. I'm gonna have to get more of those. Come on. Oh, please. Shit. Whatever. Just kill it with fire. Well, I, I don't have fire anymore, but... Kill it with whatever. Come on. Shit. Kill it. 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 What an annoying enemy. Stupid projectiles. Alright, I need to go back and get some healing stuff. A spider shirt too. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, not today. I think this is where I came from initially. Oh no it isn't. This is completely new. I gotta be careful now. Whoa! No, 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 no. Alright, this is the same problems I run into when I play Elder Scrolls. I go too far. I do way too much stuff. End up in situations like this. This 
this ain't so bad. I just want to get this hollow log from over here. What the hell is that? Oh no. Oh no. Let's uh let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh no. Oh no. This one's alive too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh crap. Oh holy crap. What in the blue hell? Alright, trap. Move. Let's get the shadow stuff going. Move. Yes. I'm gonna freeze the game probably somehow. Come on, you come over here, giant spider. Some of you guys come over here, right? There we go. Perfect. Oh no. Oh, actually, these explode now. I don't think I hit anybody with that. Okay, I'm kind of strong now. At least I feel that way. Alright, um, I do want to go over here. I'm probably going to go fight that, um, those two that were down there, too. Fight this Venom Spitter as well. Oh, and there's another one, of course. Whatever, come on. Jeez. Okay, that thing's back. For sure gonna kill it. You know what? You know what? You know what? It's about to 
hurry up and go fight that thing. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. Get him out of here. item so what's up there oh that's where she is isn't it enemies down there are like making me yearn for simple monsters like the wolf here. I don't even care. It could be a pack of these guys. They're way better than that weird shit down there. I think I can take these, right? No. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. Hmm. Spell chest. I don't know, where is she at? I can't believe it. Something's happened, hasn't it? I can tell from your face. Did you find a ring? <laughs> Uh, you should go home. No, I can't believe it. Oh no. Marine and I were made for each other. Uh, you messed my persuasions up, lady. I'm going to let that one slide. Mm, rain wasn't an antelope. I'll just whatever. I don't care anymore. That's fine. You made the whole thing up? I can't believe you do that. I wish the joke you had eaten him when I get my hands on him. Please, take this. It was a gift from Orain. I won't need it anymore. I don't want nothing, lady. Leave me alone. He is nothing but a lying sack of product slime. My mother was right about him. Great. I miss my family. I just want to go home. Why did I follow Orain to this cursed forest? No clue. See ya. Ah, oh, what a sucky sucky mission i'm i'm a little bit salty that uh, i didn't get that persuasion Let's see uh junk i suppose i should finally get rid of this one but then again i don't really like this staff that much to be honest this ice one i don't i really don't like the lightning one i'm currently using either I'm gonna keep this flaming for a bit longer. As much as I like these, I'm gonna go ahead and put those up. 
scepter, no thanks. No long swords, no great swords, no hammers. I'm tempted to kind of just put up all these daggers too, because I don't really use them. Fine, um, a lot of bows. As far as the Fey Blades go, the new ones can go. And for armor, I got this now. Is the same as what I currently have on. It's an omen. I'm only one level away from being able to equip that. This is already outdated. Captain's gloves, critical hit, and critical chance. That's not bad. These are fairly strong too. Sorcery, 10% mana regen plus. This could actually be pretty good. Regen is pretty nice. I'm gonna sell them though. Crude oak. And what did I just pick up? Damage resistance. Do I got two things that do 10% damage resistance? No. Or I need more consumables actually. This one, increase your total armor by 50%. Mm, you know, I'm gonna do that one instead of these. You know, I should have actually been using these, but whatever. I'll put those up. I guess the rest of this stuff's okay. As far as items go, seed. I don't know what this does. I'm just picking up stuff and it's just in my inventory. Now this game's inventory anno annoys me just a little bit. Like uh, mostly it's just the stuff in the item department. Like all this stuff that should be like key items. It just here, just sitting here and this here, I don't know what it does. And also some of this other stuff that sits here, like this, it just sits here. You can't really get rid of it. And this, I don't know what this is for. Okay, um, I need to get rid of something. I'll get rid of one of these. Destroy. So I can pick up this. I wish I'd never come to this forest. Gotcha. Crude ring. Negative 10% mana cost. That's actually pretty good. All right, before we do anything else, and we got plenty of other stuff to do, He's this idiot's here too. Before I do any of that, I'm gonna have to sell some stuff, so bear with me. I think I'm gonna have to go with Buckethead Head's recommendation because I'm getting lost in the sauce when it comes to these side quests. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and just move on because because it started like this last episode. There were like two side quests that I was really aiming for. And as I continue to explore and stuff to continue to do stuff for those side quests, you know, three more side quests opened up. And on top of that, three more opened up. And I think on top of that, like two or three more opened up as well. So, I'm being a little bit overwhelmed with the side quests. Welcome. Like I can't go more than uh. The importance of what you've done. 
Until you destroyed those shipments, all of Odorath was living on borrowed time. Oh. Her dialogue's weird. Alright. Great. I am rich now. I am very rich. Let's see. Forty I need forty five hundred to like respect. You know what I have to do? I have to figure out which um NPCs offer what upgrades. Cause I can get up to let's see. Fifteen, I think five. Unless they up the price on them, but I think I could get uh, five upgrades from the NPCs, five um, five training sessions, which could really free up some points if I do a fate shift, or what is it, uh, a fate re or a respect? If I do a respect, well, I don't have enough just yet. I need like. At least six thousand more gold, I think. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I want to go to abilities. Yeah. Nope, not abilities. Hmm. I wanted to see my, is it status? Yeah. Yes. So, I will free up five points. So I'll have three here and I'll be able to put just three into here instead of I think I have one, two, three, four, five. So I save out on two points here. And I think the other trainer was, uh, was it detect hidden? There was a tick. A detect hidden trainer and I put two points into here myself so that would free up an additional two points so that'd be four um, also there is a person here to turn a mission into Before I do that, let me save it. I should have saved it before I dealt with, uh, before I dealt with that lady over there. But it's a teachable experience. Now I know. The fire watching. Can't you see? Hold on. Are there three now? I think this is the third letter. Uh, Avery, Matharu has made it known to me. I must leave St. Ogwen's mission in Odorath. You see, I am in love, and that love is forbidden. Not only does my order frown upon such earthly concerns, but such an act would dishonor you as well. Why, you may ask? I cannot love this woman because it is Rika. It is your wife. So I am taking my leave of the mission, abandoning my post as alms master. Perhaps one day I will return, but not in disgrace. I cannot do that to you, or to Rika, or to my master Matharu. Farewell, my friend and brother. Rest in good peace, soft peace, peace without further pain. Your brother in arms forever, Mason. So I guess I should take all of this, all of these. start to believe in the fantasy the reality becomes too unbearable to return to 
Camden has returned to me, and you have made it so. You have done the impossible, and for that, I owe you more than this meager reward. I can see a future now, where before there was only the harsh cold of a long winter. Now there is the warmth of spring. Thank you. Awesome. Goodbye. That actually makes me feel good about things. Hello there. Sorry. So next I actually want to talk to Mason to see if there's another quest we can get. Sorry, chicken. Chicken's always getting killed, man. Ah, oh, stop auto aiming at the chickens, you psychopath. Oh man, I think I got another chicken. All right, to Mason. After we loot this thing, see if Mason has anything to say. Oh, she's here now. That's cool. Thank Masaru, you are here. How are things? Without the father, I would not have a place at the mission. He took it on faith that Masaru has a larger plan for us, for me. Okay, they're getting along. It is my home. Once Father Dinwell relented, the brothers had no choice but to accept me into their family. It takes time to change the world. Good job, Neolong. Good job. You got anything new to say? How are you doing? If you're ever feeling overburdened with the weight of the world, feel free to visit us here. Our home is your home. She has been found sufficient, and we have accepted her into the fold with open arms. Mitharu's order can be seen in many small moments. Sometimes it takes one loud voice to make all others hear the truth. Fair enough. Uh, I think sometimes... Does Mason come here sometimes? Or am I imagining that? Oh, this guy isn't here. Brother Delph. Forgive me if I seem a little on edge. I keep expecting to see... them. Right. Mitharu is with you. I still got one more assassination to do for him. Uh, uh. All right, I'm going to see if we can find Mason. He may comment on the notes since I possess them. We'll see. If not, I will try Rekka next. And uh, if anything, it will at least allow me to sell the items I picked up just now. But hopefully it triggers some sort of quest. Never surrender. Thank Masaru, you are here. One's in here. Where the hell is Brother Mason at? Well, I guess he left. I, guess, I think that was the whole point of the letter, right? That he left. I'm going to check the uh, the bunkhouse right quick to see if there is anything else maybe retaining to the notes I found.
for is this him? Who is this? Oh, brother Egan. No, I don't want to do that. I'm still deciding whether or not my decision to join St. Odwig's was a good one. Aside from my near death, it's been quite peaceful. Bye then. See ya. Might as well. <clears throat> I think I read this already, right? And thusly ordered Mitharu said unto the people, Behold the way of the world. There are cycles within the great cycle. And as I give order and structure to this world, so too do you. For I have gifted unto you the knowledge of the great pattern of fate. You shall know your mortality and understand what makes the seasons to pass and the fire to burn. I give unto you the ability to create, as I have created, and to understand the mechanisms of your world. And as I, as I understand all things, you shall all be as creators of your own world, and therefore, my children, you are all as I am. Remember then these words as I speak them, as I speak to them through the voice of the three. You are all ordered as such. Embrace and follow the plan. Oh yeah, you see me. He still sees me. What awareness that man has. Oh, he's getting up. Heard us up. this stuff be sold oh yeah on drink this religious text advises against the evils of drinking to excess and its repercussions how long is this very long sorry get added to junk if I like lore but there is a bit of a limit that this one's pretty long too um blessed be Matharu the great order of the world for in his presence we are forever the light of peace guide us warm us in the gentle cradle of your embrace of your great embrace keep us from your thoughts of despair and burden you who are so mighty in your sovereign house bless us with your interminable love grant us strength and courage in your most holy name to bear the hardships of the world you who guard us with a mighty arm Hear our prayers. We are your servants, mighty Lord, who praise none other but your name. We are your loyal flock, who follow your guiding hand to sanctuary. Through your grace we are enlightened, so we may better do your will. You alone rose to greet us and free us from the darkness of our ways. As the morning, sh as the morning sun sheds its bounty upon the land, so too, Lord, you illuminate our way. Blessed be Matharu, the great order of the world, for in his presence we are forever. Now that there, that there, is very familiar stuff. 
from back in the time when I was religious. Uh, cool. All this stuff is very useful. Great. Anybody here? Anybody looking? Nobody looking. Great. Now we're getting to the point where we're just stealing stuff for the heck of it. Did I already go up here? I think I did. Actually, no. Or maybe I did, but didn't. Just didn't grab this stuff. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to sell this book too. I'm going to sell this. All right, we got just one more trip here. One more trip, and that's to Rika. She's going to fulfill a dual purpose for us. She isn't here either. Or is this where she normally is? Here she is. Come in. You wouldn't believe how busy we've been since that Fay arrived. Eh, fair enough. She doesn't really talk about. Wait, I only have four junked items? That doesn't make sense. Oh, is it because the rest of my items are stolen? Yeah, because this stuff's stolen, that's why. Gotcha. Who can I sell this stuff to? Because this stuff's really adding up.
Actually, these guys. Maybe I can sell some stuff to one of these travelers. The dust of the road rises to meet you, wanderer. Welcome to Star Camp. I am Kilgarin. I am unfamiliar with the title the Nave of Corning. But as I understand, it grants me responsibility for this camp and its travelers. I know the lands and shadows and winding paths the travelers use. I heed no law or creed of prophecy. For that, I am given no worship. So she's a Fae traveler. That's interesting. When others feared to even speak to Fae, Grim came and introduced me to the travelers. Ever since, a more stalwart ally I cannot think of. This place has been walked by many, and this copse was hollowed ground once, if you maintain it. You guys aren't exactly travelers now, are you? You are young among our number. I would not color your perceptions of the Hierophant with my own. We are many things, but what the travelers are to most are thieves. We follow our own will. Oh, y'all definitely have to have some fences. Please. Then Grim has appraised you and found you of worth. But there is another you must appease, our guide, the anomalous Hierophant. Go to the Hierophant shrine in our camp and pray, as all travelers must. We have many freedoms and one shilling. A traveler lives by his or her hands and doyle. You must do the same. Trader Hiding sells items to supplement these skills if you need. Cool. Travelers have clever hands, but they are useless without the Hierophant, whose eyes guide us, a gift upon which we come to rely. To receive the Hierophant's visions, we are commanded to pray at their shrines, and there are many who readily comply. May the road rise to meet you. That I can do. So we got houses here. That guy has a name. Ain't no worries in Star Camp. Living free in the world with no master, save the Hierophant. But we make do. Kilgarin's tooth survey. Or a fay, I mean. Maybe I've been in the woods a bit too long. Place dedicated to the worship of Mitharu. The missionaries keep a peaceful life, but they've a few tensions boiling over there. These woods can be hard on us mortals, with the fey trickery and like. I think we've managed a well bit for ourselves, however. Travelers are the way life should be for a bloke in these lands. Don't need a war to care about, or a bed to cry in. Keep it quiet. In answer or rumor, you've done well to come to a lay and dark. I hold on to whispers and secrets in case they're needed. Now come, fellow traveler. Ain't much like a bit of gossip to soothe the tongue, isn't it? Oh, we got some training. Mercantile. Oh, it's still 15. Great. Great. 15. So I just need a little bit more than 15. Okay, that might be something I do next episode. I think I'm going to see if I can find all the trainers around and then formulate like a plan to basically um, respect, at least for the first time. So mercantile isn't bad. If I do mercantile, I can actually get, uh, I think I can get more money for selling stuff and I can get stuff for cheaper prices. That'd be pretty nice. We go from place to place, such as it pleases us. Do some trade and tinkering too, if there's call for it. We're much loved by the common folk, so it's said. But love and trust are two different things. Can't stay in one place long. The Hierophant's eyes see for all the travelers, and the Hierophant's words speak for all the travelers. There's other rumors of late, though, but the Hierophant's eyes can't see so well, and the words aren't true any longer. It is a quiet little bend of wood. Isn't much in the way of cities out here in Zalantar, so we make do with what hamlets we come across. 
Odd one, that Kolgarin. Then again, though we met a sensible fay. See, the thing is, she knows the paths and secrets of these woods like, well, a fay. And I'm glad she's running things here for that. Definitely. Keep to the shadows. Useful to have a fay to fight fay. Oh, I can't save things here? Okay. So everybody here has a name. Well, <laughs> I ran into the first person without a name as soon as I said that. Hey, good day. Why not rest a moment and toss some bones with old Rose? Never know when luck will kiss your dice. What are the games? So I got to pay to play. There aren't many who know how the travelers started. Wouldn't be surprised if that knowledge was completely lost. Not much to disrupt the tranquility of the woods out here, though I hear a graven hand is looking for able bodies. Never met a fake quite like her. She doesn't have a head for gold or knows any value, but she can steal the fangs off a bar guest. All right, let's go ahead and lose our money right quick. Well, now I like to keep things simple. Only two dice here. We could play high roll. Whoever rolls highest wins. Of course, there's also range roll. You pick some numbers to roll within. Higher risk, but bigger reward. Uh, I'm just gonna do I roll. Aye, then let's toss the dice and see what comes. Care to play again? Let me know. Yeah, <laughs> of course. She rolled one better. Aye. Of course. Aye, good day. Actually, let's let's try that one more time. Rest a moment and toss some bones with old Rose. Oh, yeah, we can do Never that. know when luck will kiss your dice. In high roll, we each roll two. In ranged roll, you pick a range of numbers that you think fits very well. What kind of game do you want to play? Aye, right, then let's toss the dice and see what comes. Care to play again? Let me know. Really? How do they? How does she keep getting a twelve? You've got a gambler's gleam in your eye. Care to dice for some coin? Hold on. Very well. What kind of game do you want to play? I then care to play again? Let me know. What does she get? How does she keep rolling a twelve? What the hell? So what? <laughs> she just always rolls a twelve, or is that some bullshit? <laughs> I'm gonna try it a few more times just to see. Well, she got a 12 every single time that we rolled. So I think maybe maybe there's going to be a mission that we discover something that she's cheating. Have a rest, lass. You've got a gambler's gleam in your eye. Care to dice for some coin? Never met a fake quite like her. Not much to disrupt the tranquility. There aren't many who know how the travel. Right. If you're well, rolling twelves, then you are suspicious. Of course, there's also range roll. You pick. I then let's care to play again. Let me know. Okay, I actually won that one. <laughs> cool. I'm I'm fine with that. Need an answer or a rumor? You now come, fellow traveler. Ain't much like a bit of gossip. To okay. So we got her here at Star Camp. These are two travelers. Got her here at Star Camp. We got uh, the Fate Weaver, or the um, the woman near the Fate Weaver, at the House of Ballads. There's somebody in Goat Gorhart too, but I forget who. I think they're in the inn, but I'm not even 100% sure. Talk to him already. I don't think. Oh, he's just a random traveler. Another burk off the road, eh? What's a wanderer like you want cutting tongues with me? Ain't no merchants, Burke. 
That's what I'm looking for. We're the ones that survive everything. Stragglers and beggars. Be it war, unrest or famine. It pays to live on your feet. Life under the stars, warm nights. A man could do worse. And we're close to civilization if we need be. She may not understand everything about us, but she watches over everyone in camp. Star Camp is lucky to have her. Pleasant travels, Burke. Burke? What does that mean? Have a rest, lad. Dagger of Carnage. Travelers. Hmm. Average. Oh, but somebody would see me get these. Who sees me? There we go. You know, what? I'm going to keep these in here because if I take them, they're just going to be contraband anyway. So until I can find like a contraband um, merchant, there's nothing I can really do with those. So my first priority is to find a contraband merchant. There really should be one here. Oh, more terrain. G signal plus 20 mana. This can be sold actually. in Dalentoth learning to imitate the ways of the Fae. If you need to improve your ways of stealth, I can help. Hell yeah. Well, we got two trainers here. Awesome. Current skill is two. I learned all my skills from Krill Garin. The Fae are usually not forthcoming with their knowledge, but she seeks to help all. The woods are quiet here. We're far enough away from prying eyes, at least. The woods are quiet here. The art of teaching stealth is no easy task. More than any other learning, it requires patience. For if you fail to learn, the effects can be disastrous. Very true. Once the stuff of legends and ballads, when walls and nations crumble, they'll still be singing of us. Where the shadows dwell. <laughs> she just sleeps. <laughs> I am a stealth god. Time for a nap. Um. Oh shit, people are looking at me. You know what, I am gonna take this damn money. Yeah, 
everybody looking at me. Well, there's, nothing, there's nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Sorry. Sorry. I did not mean it. Forgive me. Okay, so this person... Oh, she's up now, too. Okay. Great. She's asleep. Great. I need to hurry up before she comes back. Great. 9%. Come on, come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna chill until she walks away. There we go. Once her thing goes down, I should be good, but her thing's going down pretty slow. All right, about now. Great. This I can use. Now I can get his awares. Oh, he sees me. Yes. No, I don't want to pickpocket you. I want your chest. She's still asleep. Let's do it. Oh, he got some stuff in here, man. Ten percent damage, four percent chance to get critical hit. Hmm, that's actually really good. Shoes of the wave. This is good. I'm gonna take that. All right. Well, yeah, who is this guy? Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Are you looking to buy items or sell them? Kilgarin is a good leader for Star Camp. Most here are new to the travelers and she guides them from danger. It's a quiet camp. If you're looking to gamble, Rose Baden enjoys playing dice. The travelers aren't highwaymen, regardless of what you may have heard. We're a family, a people. We stick with each other. The lodge is a bit of an odd place. Run by a pair of brothers deep in the Shu. By all accounts, they just want to help those passing through the Shu. Odd. Alright. Now, will you take my illegal junk? He did. He took my illegal junk. Ah. And we got the five finger discount. Fantastic. I figure a group of traveling quote unquote thieves would have a merchant who's took my uh, fenced items. Or my stolen items. Perfect. Let's see if you have anything good. This stuff is kind of weak. To be honest, let's take a look at like his more expensive stuff just to see. Yeah, that stuff's still fairly weak. As good as it is, it's still fairly weak. I need some health regen. I need a lot of it too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need 10 of these. Gotcha. Blazing South. Lightning Sentinel. Frost Guard. Social Grace. Steel Curtain. I think I should get more of these. 
Eh, I don't need that many, but at least two. Actually, these are better, I think. So, man, see, these are tough. I think I'm going to sell a Ravenclaw. I don't see myself using it anytime soon. Mana cost is pretty strong though. But I don't have anything that's like super duper. Yo, 10 health per hit, 5% chance. I think that's a little low. I'm gonna sell that. In damage. If I want to spec out into damage, I do have two options for that. So I'm going to keep both of those. This I'm going to keep just a little bit longer. The Shrewd Ring. Okay, I'm just going to junk these two. Open for business when the road is your marketplace. All right, what I will buy is more healing items. Bleeding damage attacks. Hmm, that could be really good. I'm going to hold out on that. Thief's Cunning, Minor Mage Bane, okay. Are you looking to buy items or sell them? Looking to make a bit of coin? What preys before me? An eddy in the river of fate, a cacophony in the song of Amalor. Your presence is unnerving, but you have come and prayed and honored our creeds. You wish to make yourself a traveler? Then ask me for my portents. Mm. For true trust. For true compliance, the Hierophant must have no weakness, nor fault, nor lapse. In other words, the Hierophant must be no one. The price to admit you is great. It will take three treasures to balance the burden. First, there is a noble, Elfwig Grilricar, staying in Diden Hill. Steal his medallion. Then, in the nearby mission, claim the pall of the dead Saint Edrix. The last are drugs toothpicks. We have contacted their owner, Gunner Frode, to buy the items, but you will steal them instead. Cool. It is the rather valuable bauble of an old noble family. Rather mundane, but worth much coin to us. The daggers used by the fabled Joden Warmaster Drow, though they were not his weapons, as the name suggests. It is the burial shroud of St. Edric. There are many collectors of relics who hunger for these artifacts and pay dearly for them. Yes, some final warnings. Elfwig Grilricas is a fastidious man. He will not suffer an approach he can see. 
the pall of Idric lies in his tomb, which is under many eyes. Wait until none are near before you claim it. Mm. And last, Gunnarfrod is shifty. He will not have the daggers on him or near him. Be warned. Okay. Something we're going to eventually do. I'm going to definitely be forgetting about the details of that. Whatever she just shared with me. Going to quickly be forgotten. 222 is a daily number. Let's see. I'm not going to do that quest now. But eventually, perhaps. Um, let's get that tender twig. Let's get that tender twig. Already 14 hours into this craziness. Oh yeah, pick this stuff up now. Actually, I think there's a lot of stuff I left behind. Was that the only thing? What else did I leave behind? I left behind the stuff over there. What do you want to? sees me oh this too shit <laughs> Wish I remember. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be getting to this anytime soon. Yeah, because normally she's asleep, right? Nope. No, that's like a totally different person. Fair enough. A star. Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Are you looking to buy items or sell them? Always looking to make a bit of coin? Greetings. And so you have come back. How goes the matter of your pursuit? Here. The Hierophant has laid the path before you, though the task is oddly expansive. Right. You must steal three objects, a medallion from Dighton Hill, a pole from St. Edric's mission, and some daggers from the shield. There's a ring with the extra box. Sounds like I gotta, I gotta do like an extra amount of stuff to prove myself. Yeah, I'm gonna change my run button. Push that out just a bit more. Uh, this actually works for me a little bit better, I think. Actually, no, it's kind of weird. 
I like that it's pulled back more, but it's it's a little jarring. Maybe it's the height that's, uh, I don't like. Distance and field of view. Distance is good. Field of view may be weird. I think field of view is the weird thing. I think that's what's throwing me off is the field of view change. Let's take that back to normal. I think that was like over here. Actually, you know what? I do want that pull it back a little bit. Three more. Good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay. Okay. I think this this works for me. So, Titan Hill's right there. But where I want to go, is here again. Oh, let's talk to this guy right quick. Well, I ain't exactly forthcoming with tasks for you, but I can jaw a bit. What's needed? Good, clean folk. Well, mostly clean, and mostly good. We live our lives in the wilds, making a living however we can. Ah, oh, don't mind me or nothing. Just an interested party, that's all. That's all. <laughs> it's more of this character. Krogeran's the tempting bit of fate that runs Star Camp. You'll have to go through her if you want to work in Dalantar. But she and I have worked more than a few jobs together. She trusts my judgment if she needs to. Well, first off, you should find someone a little more well-informed than me. Kulgarin's the camp leader. I'd chat with her. Why, thank you. So, putting the run button over here is a lot better. Already. Bandits. Yeah, having a run button on X. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of here, guys. Dude, if you don't get the hell out of here. Where are these boggarts coming from? They're coming literally out of nowhere. Get out of here. You damn boggarts. So yeah, this this feels way better with the run button on L3. Feels way more natural. When it's on X, um, X, X is doing a lot. X is putting in a lot of work. Yeah, X is putting in a lot of work as far as all the stuff it does in this game. So, giving a little break to X is great because uh, because I I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in this episode alone, I've had a little bit of trouble with um pressing X button at the wrong time. 
uh, when it comes to picking up stuff. And also talking to people. I've been talking to people while I've been trying to run. So. Now what's difficult now is to get to retrain my muscle memory to not press X to try to run now that I'm used to it. That's a little tricky. Oh, you know what? I think we're, I think we're in town already. Is that a bear? Oh, they hate that attack. The love of two hearts beat as the laughing upon the shore. The herald of the royal seat as the storm that shakes the sky. The maiden of the forest spring as the flame attracts the fly. The lion's claw and dove's wing eventually both will die. Hmm. I don't know where I was just at, but this is gonna take me someplace else. Ooh. Where the hell am I? Dirge's dancing shoes. Whoa, these are kind of crazy. All right, I'm taking them. Something tells me that's probably not a good idea. Where the hell am I? What? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm just in a new dungeon. I thought I was good. I thought I was going to do some other cool shit, but I'm in a whole new dungeon all of a sudden. I hope this dungeon isn't bullshit. Okay, these are bandits. That's fine. Let's take everything. Ooh, why did I just stand there and look at it? <laughs> I, I like moved out the way and I moved right back into the traps range. There we go. It was just the hallway. Hold on. Side and heal. Okay, we're at the iron hold passage. I'm going backwards. Oh, 
I'm putting bleed on all these enemies. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna s I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna save it before I try to harvest any of this stuff. The crazy thing is I'm actually near leveling up. I'm actually very close to leveling up here. Right, I need you to pick up like two of these. None. Of course I'm surrounded. Please, please harvest it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh man, this sucks. This sucks so bad. Alright, let's do. Oops. That's gonna be a level up. Okay, before I touch any of these things, I'm gonna level up my alchemy again. Please, I need it so bad. Okay, so I can either get this to 20 finesse or I can get this to 14. Let's see, charge, entropy, and maelstrom, special attacks, award, bonus, fate. I thought I had this already. Oh, I do. Great, that's current level. And now with this. More damage. I do want more damage. I think I'm okay with that. Still not using the bow, so I'm gonna go for um poison. Or the max what levels of that then I'm gonna go for a level 14 here oh yeah more chakram damage is always good let's just go with that and now I have the arcanist which Able to teleport a short distance at will. Practice this shadowy magic. Oh, that's cool right there. So is this is this pure? Oh, this is just the stuff I unlocked. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Do that one. Oh. How the hell do I teleport? They say I can teleport. Uh, 
Okay, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Um, I want to see if I can get this thing here. If I can, I can. If I can, I can't. So, no big deal. And I still can't harvest it. That's where I killed these guys at. Okay, there's one more. Hopefully I can get this last one. It is insane that the RNG on this thing is so horrible. Please. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I do need one more plague shield. You know, I lost. I completely lost. Um, I was up there, wasn't I? Yeah, it was over here. All right, I guess we'll get that last plague shield next time. For now, though, no. For now, let's return. Really, I gotta go back through here to do what? I need to go here. Yep, stuff. I'm I'm already getting kind of confused on the uh, side missions. There's just so many of them. to see you made her out of there alive we felt the earth shake and you hadn't returned but no matter our town is forever in your debt please take this it's not much after all you've done but we would like you to have it thank you the bogus will always trouble Dyden Hill as long as we can keep a supply of plague shield they'll survive this malady disgusting little fey vermin we're all glad to be rid of them. More ruins beneath the caverns, you say? I wonder who was there before the Bogarts moved in. Well, we weathered this storm. Pray Mitharu we weather the next. Mitharu Puki. Okay, you know what? You know what? Um, I would feel a lot better if I went to get that plague shield and I turned that mission in, so. Let me go set that quest up and let's just do that right quick. We got like about 10 more minutes. I was going to wrap the episode up, but I, I want to go ahead and just knock this out. Because otherwise, otherwise I feel like uh, we're just doing random shit. <laughs> So I want to at least uh, finish off this quest line. You know, I don't remember what was in that dungeon. The last plague shoot. Filled with lost lore and dozens of techniques, this book will grant a permanent bonus to the Sagecraft skill of whoever reads it. Hmm. 
Mm, I'm going to wait on that one. Wait to use it. Oh, this is Saint Hadwin's? What? Hmm. Since we're here, see what this mission's about. Come for our stage crafting. I can help with that. Anything else, speak with Ganyan or Udo. We are kindred spirits. We see Mitharu in gems. We seek holiness in refining them. Brother Ganyan says it best, but in the art of working gems is all the glory of Mitharu. We have quiet, order, and a stagecrafter's bench. What more could I desire? I feel that. I 100% feel that. The news of Fallon's passing will be hard on him, I'm afraid. I never understood it myself, but he found solace in plants and people. Things I see no order or structure in at all. Fair enough. By Matharu, I am growing worried for Brother Fallon. The day is come and gone, and he still has not returned. He did. Killed? Oh dear. Well, he is with Mitharu now. I hesitate to ask, but did you happen to take his prayer leaf? Terrible if they were left to lie there with him. Are these his prayer beads? Why, yes, they are. And so he has fed them to me. Well, he has joined Mitharu. You should know we have a tradition. I did read the book, so I do know about your tra tradition. They are passed on to some other believer. Tell me, do you adhere to Mataru's creed? No, but I'm gonna lie to you. To honor and uphold the forces of order and good. Our religious mission is to see chaos and suffering laid low beneath Mitharu's hammer. You have acted well and honorably thus far. It would be wrong of me to distrust you now. Mm. Mitharu is not a jealous heart. You are still a child of order if you do good. Keep the beads and do as I tell you. At each mission, Odrid's, Edric's, and our own, there is a special shrine to Mitharu. Go you and pray at each one, and the power of Mitharu will grant your beads great and greater strength. Hell yeah. Pray at the shrines of St. Edric's, St. Odwid's, and before this very mission. At each one you pray, the beads will be improved. Let's do it. We mourn our brother's loss. And yet, in our sorrow, we acknowledge that death is part of life's pattern. A goodly sort of village, though it does not have the tranquility of Dighton Hill. By the great God of order, who makes the seasons to turn, life to rise from the ground, and death return to it. We have devoted our lives to this service. Oh man, he's talking about a lot of stuff. Yes, so you've heard of the sad affliction that has struck Dighton Hill. Thus it is when nature strays from order. A lovely mission far to the south in the depths of the she. It's been many years since I've been there, I'm afraid. The heart of the Feyland, some say. Fey magic is certainly at its thickest there. It may not have the luminous pomp of St. Odwig's, but then St. Hadwin was a modest apostle of Mitharu, 
our worship centers on our prayer beads and the practice of cutting and clarifying shards through sage crafting. A much larger mission in Gorhart to the west. They are unmatched in venerable years of service. I like to think what we lack therein, we have in humility, in purity. Fair enough. May Tharo watch and guide you always. So I'm going to do sage crafting later. What brings you to our humble mission? You have heard of our remarkable shards and gems, perhaps. Are you a follower of Mitharu, here to worship? Not really. Oh, man. Hold on. Ah, please work. Ah, a follower awesome. of the great order of the words. You are, of course, welcome to our humble mission and all of Mitharu's homes. Thank you. See, I was going to have to re re uh, reload the game if that didn't work. He is a man of few words, but he is gifted at a sage crafter's table. Our brother's death is a hard lesson. You must meditate to see beyond the sorrow, as does brother Udo. It is a beautiful lesson in the ways of Mitharu. Each gem carries within it his influence. Untouched, you can see the light of peace working in a perfect symphony. A shard is but one raw image of this perfection. Refined by our imperfect hands. Behold our unassuming mission, pure and simple as the very first waters. Brother Ansel and I devote our hours to shards and gems, while the others tend garden and shrine. All of us play upon our beads. You're like a mixture of um Western and Eastern monks. Gem of protection. So we got some gems here. Plus one to first two tiers of unlocked magical abilities. Armor. Weapon effectiveness. Oh, to steal mana. Cool. Beast armor's effectiveness. Go ahead and get our inventory together. We can sell some stuff. Doom. Crew chakrams. These are really good. These are, of course, the same again. <laughs> Keep picking these up. Mmm, Lyria shoes. Damn, all this stuff's really good, honestly. Okay, let's see what we get for um, powering this up even further. 10% health and mana, that's really good. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to what I get for that. Alright. Is it true? Brother Fallon died upon the road. Mithara, by your clouded tears, save us. Great. Oh, I can actually loot this one. Right, I'm going to look for this shrine. I think that's about it. I wanted to do another thing 
Um, I wanted to see if they would take um, the items I have, the uh, crafting items to craft the plague stuff. You know what? Yeah, let me turn into plague bearer stuff. That's why I can't. I forgot all about that once the NPC started talking. So I'll turn into plague bearer stuff. I'll see if I can also turn in the other mission I have. The other quest, which is gathering flames. I'll see if I can actually turn that in. So does that count as praying at the shrine? I don't think that counts as uh, praying at the shrine. Hold on. Oh, okay. It's over here. This shrine. So now it should be... Yeah. Great. As a matter of fact... Heart and St. Edric. We'll do that later. I want to do Dighton Hall. Yeah, that'll be something I'll save for the next episode. all the plague shield then we have enough to last for a while yet at any rate please have this as thanks why thank you poor oh, he that is an old stone these days it's almost common to lose a friend and i'll tell you he was a dear one he'll be sorely missed here and up at the mission mainly for our own keeping i'm just glad we worked that old nonsense and bother out all that petty worrying On with you, get. Have a seat. If it's a hard chest, there must be something good in it. I might as well. Another visit. Okay. Last but not least, we'll go into the um. Would they call it? I'm gonna call it a mini mall. The mini mall with all the different. Shops. Truth be told, I probably already completed this mission like a while ago. So I remember I picked up a tender twig. I picked up a tender twig uh, 
think from an enemy. So I didn't have to go in the um that cave. Kester and Cora. They're the cornerstones that hold this village up. So Inga won't bite. Just tell her what you want mended. Good then. So yeah, I don't have what I need. Kester and Cora. They're the cornerstones that hold this village up. So do I need to make it myself? This mission is weird. Because I have the tender twig. I have the bark and I have the tender twig. I got two. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Did I just eat that? <laughs> Why would they let me eat that? No, that didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I don't have enough. Uh, perhaps I don't have enough of the uh, tender twig. Oh, that's how you teleport. Instead of rolling, you just teleport now. Cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go just a little bit longer, um, cause that was a little bit disappointing. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this um. This uh, necklace together for you guys. I don't know what this sound is though. Maybe it's something to do with my character. Maybe it's a glitch. I I don't know. Very confused. So that mission, I don't know. I don't understand. I'm going to just leave that one on the back burner. Because it doesn't really make sense. And those on Regents are really hard to get. Extremely hard. Plus 10. I was hoping it was going to like add a new effect onto it. Fair enough.
this fella? Oh, he's out here. to St. Edrick's. Before I do anything else, I am going to this shrine here. Cool, cool. I'm not sure what the Niskaru are. But anyways, so next time I guess what I'll be doing is I'll be talking to these guys here. Um, but the most thing, um, the thing I'll mostly be working on is uh, the respec. So uh, I'm going to do some research off camera, uh, mostly in the game, but maybe I'll even look something up about the trainers to see what trainers I have to look forward to. And then um, I'll be able to respec. I might even wait. I might end up waiting on a respec. Let me open this right quick. Yeah, I might wait on the respec, depending on what I'm trying to do. Uh, but if, if I do it well, I have enough gold here to respect let's see five six times or not six times i have enough gold here to respect and then to have enough left over to um have six free points so let me just take a quick look So persuasion for sure, we're gonna get that to three. I think also alchemy. I think these two things we're gonna get to three with trainers. So that'll be our six points right there. And then I'll have uh, however many points free to do other stuff with. So I'll be able to level up persuasion again and I'll be able to put more into alchemy as well as well as detect hidden. So those would be the things I focus on. Uh, stealth, I guess stealth as well. But let's see. One, two, three, four. These particular four skills are the ones I'm gonna be focused on. But uh, yeah, that'll be the end of the episode, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. And you know what? The camera being pulled back actually messes with the end of the game. Or maybe I can do something like this. Yeah, this is better. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Um, if you guys uh, did not, let me know. If you guys did, let me know. Um, I might do like that uh, interaction between me and you guys. So go ahead and drop some comments in the comments below. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. And I hope you guys are enjoying the DLC for the game. Um, I'm not going to get to it for quite some time, but um, I am looking forward to it. 
So appreciate you guys for watching. Definitely take care. But till next time, everybody, peace.